and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Diana. Going to bring this deck back, our last Rank Up Sunday deck today. This was a lot of fun to play. Um, another aggressively slanted deck with Targon and Bilgewater. Um, getting a good amount of elusives in here with Diana and Fizz. Of course, Fizz can be elusive if we cast a spell. And then we have one Nightfall elusive with Lunari Shade Stalker. But then it's about our top end. We got Sprayfin, Slippery Wave Rider, and Cygnus the Moonstalker all having that elusive, and we can get a lot of elusive damage in. We have Mentor the Stones to help support and grow some of these. Jack the Winner is just a great blocker and can get some sleep with the fishes to do some damage. So pretty cool little list. Let's go play our five games over in Ranked, and we'll see how we do, see if we can get another winning record here um, on this Rank Up Sunday. Hope everybody else is having a real good Sunday, or I guess this would be published probably on Monday for y'all watching later on YouTube. Of course, y'all here in, in Twitch right now. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Tomorrow's Labor Day. Right? That's the, yeah, that's the right holiday tomorrow, Labor Day. So a lot of people are not working. I'll be working, of course. We'll be working on the stream. I'll be streaming here again. For those of y'all that don't that are a little newer. I, I stream every single day here at this time. Usually from about 11 a.m. to about 4 p.m. Eastern time. Approximately. Okay, Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Think about keeping all of these, honestly. We could mulligan the second Fizz. And we could mulligan the Jack. I guess we'll do both of those, but... Jack's pretty cool. Alright, we'll, we'll take Jack back. I think there are two warning shots. No, there's probably three warning shots in this deck, aren't there? There's probably three. Because it protects Fizz. Yeah, there's three. What did they do with their mana? Oh, Messenger Sigil. Cool. Not Avalanche. I like not Avalanche. Bask in her radiant blessing. Whether or not to play Diana. I guess we do, because of course I'm gonna want to go right to attacks. Love drawing that. It's our time. That's a good card against Avalanche. I guess that only saves Diana against Avalanche. But still. Good to have. We played the warning shot earlier. So that's two out of four. Daylight, everlasting. We're playing a five drop. Um, slippery Wave Rider means we go right to attacks next turn. Four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I kind of like the Jack the Winner more. Create the sleep with the fishes. Hmm. I'd like to be able to use the sleep with the fishes. To give Fizz elusive so I can keep warning shot. So 
So that's two. Alright, we're getting there. There's Pocket Aces, my favorite card in the deck. Okay, maybe not favorite card. Messenger. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. And of course, if Metro of the Stones does die, we get all those gems, which work amazing with not only elusives, but specifically Fizz. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Alright, healing that thing. Alright, we should be good to go. Let's bump this up. These are all three power. Diana's like, but I'm I'm here too. Even if they have like harsh winds, brittle steel, we would still be able to be just fine there. They would need like harsh winds, brittle steel, brittle steel. We'd still be fine. Don't think that's gonna help them. All right, GG's. All right, Gangplank Misfortune. Both those cards are good, but let's get some lower things on the curve first. Like that. I hope they don't attack. Shake Darn. I don't think they're going to be able to kill Diana on turn two. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. So my plan is playing the Diana on turn two and challenging and getting a free kill instead of blocking. Let's kill that for free. And now we'll kind of have the Sunblessed Vigor and Pale Cast Cade to be able to help protect Diana. Those are so precious. If I spend two cards to Pale Cascade and block. That's worth it. Our light grows brighter. Ignorant brawl. This is really just spending one card because um, the pale cascade replaces itself. Attack. 
I definitely wish I could play two of these. But played Solari Soldier over the two. So Sunblast Vigor would put this to two health instead of one, but I'm going to go with the Pale Cascade uh, so that now Diana's at three out of four. Just getting another Pale Cascade in here. Plus we get to draw that extra card with the Pale Cascade as well. That is rude. Not the best time for these mentor and stones. Not the best time. Maybe I'll just play the two Mentor of the Stones instead of playing Slippery Wave Rider. Or, of course, Petty Officer and one Mentor of the Stones. I think it's probably better to double spell. So we're going and go wide. We're going to do that. Um, so, obviously, Mentor of the Stones is going to be one of the cards. And then, whether we play another Mentor or a Petty Officer, I'm not sure. I'm glad to see that make it rain and go away. And I guess we're going to get the two bodies out here. Cool. Who's angry for action? Not cool. Definitely playing one of these gems right away and just healing the Solari Soldier, turning it into a 3-2. That'll be good against the 5-3. I guess I might as well just play another one and just make this a 3-1. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be a very close game. Very close. We could be dead. Maybe we're not dead. I don't know. It's gonna be close. I am reborn of salt and Probably dead. So, all right, so this is eight. Basically, this is attacking for eight overwhelm. I guess technically 10 overwhelm. The most I can block is with four. So that means I have to block with that plus Pale Cascade on the Slippery Wave Rider. But then the Jack the Winner is going to survive. What can I draw? Like, if I, if I play the Pale Cascade first, what can I draw? Uh, Lunari Duskbringer doesn't do anything. Solari Soldier would help. All right, Solari Soldier. Not Solari Soldier. Let him bleed out. Blow him 
to the depths. Let's be down to one. And the third Mega Rain. Ow. Alright, one and one. I could have saved life by throwing, like, those those things that just died to the Gangplank. I could have thr thrown away at least one of those to just block something and would have died to a Misfortune ability. But we could have saved a little bit of life by doing that. Misfortune Quinn. We're going to keep our own Jack the Winner this time. We got our our odd turns turn one three five. Bless the people and see the heretics. Follow the horizon. The two drop that we can't really play on turn two. And we could, it's just a, a war chefs with no ability. A silenced war chefs. By playing, by playing Petty Officer means I can't kill Warchefs. I couldn't kill Warchefs either, but I could just keep like my stuff alive. That's not how I would have done that. I would have done that challenge, yes. But then I would have, I would have had War Chefs pump up the 2-1 and have the 2-1 eat the 1-2. Because then the 2-1 challenger would have been a 3-2 and then would have eat, just eaten this gift giver. Okay, so some things about Jack the Winner with this deck. It it gets, you know, like the it's just a great blocker for to help our elusives win. It gets like this this sleep with the fishes that helps us do the extra damage. But then the other thing about this card is Cygnus the Moonstalker. Right? Like we're our deck has two Cygnus the Moonstalker in the six mana slot for Nightfall, a four two elusive that grants something else elusive. So you want you also want something large to be able to grant elusive to because of that card as well. And so uh, Jack the Winner works out really well um, with that card also. <clears throat> well, this could be better. You can't do this. Ignorant brawl. This Vanguard Bannerman card is pretty good. I don't know if y'all have seen that one before. This is not the way. That one's pretty good.
your back. <laughs> Bannerman, never heard of it. Down to one. Down to zero. Brothers. I probably need to play that. I played. I played Sprayfin on turn turn five, and I probably need to play the Jack on turn five. Yeah, they just yeah. Demacia can just have a, a great hand for sure. So like, even if I would have played Jack on turn five, like I think I should have, I don't think I would have won. They they just steamrolled. They just had turn one one drop, turn two two drop, turn turn three a two drop and a one drop, all amazing cards. Then turn four Grizzled Ranger, turn five Bannerman, just steamrolled. Keep the soldier. The pill cascade. Interesting. The pill cascade's interesting to maybe keep. Ours is the one true light. Devotion to battle. Can our opponents not have the best stuff? <laughs> Can they not have, you know, like two fleet feather trackers, war chef, sprite steel protector for the first three turns? Or first three turns of Bark Beast, um, Cursed Keeper, Blighted Caretaker? Can they not just have the perfect one, two, like first three turns? That's just two games in a row of a perfect first three turns. not do that. Dusk approaches. I know we don't get the challenger right now, but I just need the body in play. Especially I had a four mana body, then five, six, you know, like we just need the body in play. Maybe we should play one Pale Cascade and see if we draw a unit to play. Okay, would not have been a unit to play. I can either keep Diana or Our light I keep one of these alive, blocking Elise. No We're blocking there. One of them blocks the 3-3, one of them blocks Elise. Um, 
I is three out of four. I think I guess I I guess I keep the elusive alive. I guess I could take one more point of damage. I could have gone to three and kept them both alive and killed the two one instead. Draw three. It's pretty good. Come on. Picks, really? We can't even get something that trades with a Spiderling? I have never had... I've had opponents play like 50 Petty Officers against me since Targon's been out. And they have never once gotten a Picks. It's never happened. <laughs> That's the second time it's happened for us, puppy. The one downside to Stalking Shadows is probably Omen Hawk. Stalking Shadows does not work very well with Omen Hawk of like Omen Hawk pumping up your top units and then you Stalking Shadows and you can only take like one of them and then another one gets shuffled. Like that kind of thing. Really bad timing here with the neighbor. Um, right here at my yard, using the, using their hedger. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's really loud in my ear. No bad timing for that, and I'm keeping Harvey pretty calm. That's egg. Did it move? Well, great hand. Great hand. Start playing stuff on turn five. Ours is the one true light. Okay, y'all can't hear it. it is very loud. Oh, whatever you want to call those, like Hedger, Electric Trimmer, Weed Whacker, those things. Devotion to button. Yeah, Blighted Caretaker is still amazing. Too bad. We're at 18, we have one more card than them, and they have a Spiderling in play. That actually didn't work out too bad for us. Stop, RV. Hey. You stay here, Harvey. Unfortunately, this turn was pretty poor for us, having six mana and only playing a 2-3. But maybe we can catch up with our four cards from our opener. Now they flipped the script. Now you know, we had one more card. Now we have 
the same number of cards, and now they have a lot better board also. All right, go, Jack. Go block. Calista's going to attack, put in a 3-2, and that 3-2 is also going to bring a Shark Chariot. Looks like we could block here to kill the 3-2s, kill the and they're left with only those two in play, but I go down to 2 life. If I block here, we go to 7 life, but then they get an extra 3-2 in play. Guess we go to seven. I promise the blood boss. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Well, this has been a frustrating way to finish the day out. Very frustrating. stay alive. They should not be attacking with this Mistwraith. Darn. What's your wager? You and me. Let's go. go to one. Down to one. And we gotta, gotta keep this... I wanna keep this uh, Jack the Winner in play for the Cygnus. Stabilize at one. Please don't kill me with anything. Please don't kill me. So we don't even really need the Cygnus. We just use the Sleep with the Fishes. Right, disappointing way to finish to finish the day. Uh, he ran into some pretty hot opponents. Their decks were, were more powerful than ours in the early turns, especially the hands that we had. Right, our opening hand was not good. Mulliganed all four cards, and then we get, you know, Jack the Winner, Slip, Slippery Wave Rider, and both Cygnus. That was our opening hand. That's not going to do it. All right, well, there we go. That's Fizz Diana. This deck can do uh, some good stuff, and it has, like, some good elusives and stuff. I know I know that this video didn't really showcase the deck as well. Um, we have played this deck a previous time. If you want to check out that video, you can go over to, like, um, you know, if you don't want to search for it, you can go to my playlist. I have, you know, playlists with each region. You can go to, like, the Targon playlist, and you'll find it. It was just from, like, four or five days ago. Um, pretty easy to find if you want to see... The deck more in action and really actually you know us actually doing stuff with fizz and doing stuff with diana and and all that kind of stuff um but anyway that's it here for rank up sunday uh those y'all watching on youtube please leave those comments i always like seeing those and those help out the videos so please do that and of course hit the like button and stuff like that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video